Flashback Tony Cruz is finally added to Ultimate Team. So much so that EA Sports themselves tweeted out that it's worth the wait, right? You've got to, you know, be patient with FIFA cards. And Tony Cruz, guys, is finally here with these stats. We've been waiting now for about four or five days since his card leaked. And welcome to an official player review of this brand new card in Ultimate Team. So, 78 pace, 89 shot, 95 passing, 88 dribbling guys, 76 defending, and 76 physical. Now, he's six foot tall, obviously good height for midfielder in FIFA, five star weak foot, so with that passing, that could be huge for those long through balls that are so meta in Ultimate Team right now. And the skill moves is, yeah, you can work with it, but obviously it's preferred for, but still very nice stats on the card uh, stats there. Obviously being a flashback to, I want to say, team of the year flashback when he had like a 96 uh, team of the year. Anyway, as you can see as well, here are his stats. Now, I'm not going to lie. I thought he'd have far worse agility and balance. If you give this card the engine chemistry style, I really believe this could be a genuinely fantastic centre mid at this stage of FIFA, right? And with that centre mid card, I mean, you're going to obviously have to compare him to, I guess, the recent Curtis Jones SBC, maybe, who else would be a good comparison? Michael Balak's icon card as well has pretty similar stats, so I can't wait to try out this card and see how he performs in-game. Looking at it though, he does really look like a very good centre mid. I think this is the kind of card that you wouldn't really want to use at CDM, and you wouldn't really want to use a cam other than for long shots and obviously that incredible shot power, but overall, I think this could be a fantastic centre mid. Now, I know you guys are thinking, right, before we get into, well, I'll go and play traits now. He's got the long passing trait, which is obviously great for those long through balls. Long shot taker, so we might get a few banging goals with Tony Cruz. And playmaker, so overall, the stats look magnificent. I don't think, we, I don't think anyone can disagree with that. I think they really do look like nice stats. And if you have a La Liga team, and you've got like Zhao Felix play of the month. Maybe you've got, you know, Ansu Fati as well. Like this is going to be a really interesting card. Maybe in foot champs as well. With the current meta that obviously is as well the 5-3-2. Anyway, in terms of, you know, how much this card is currently costing. I'll press refresh here on footbin. But as you guys can see, this SBC is currently costing 360k. There or thereabout. So overall, I mean, I reckon... If this was like 250, I reckon that would have been a really decent price. It is a price SBC, you know, with that kind of, with those stats, with him playing for Real Madrid being such a popular centre mid in Ultimate Team with this card. I think the price, I'm not surprised. I wish, to be honest, that maybe the price was maybe 50k cheaper, but you never know, man. It could go down even more, maybe to 330. Overall, what price would you pay on the transfer market? for this card. I guess that's what you got to, you know, what what this comes down to, right? But still, very interesting card. If you give him an engine style, guys, he has a 94 rating in game. I'm going to move myself over to the left hand side. There you go. So 94 centimeter there, guys, with the engine style. If you give him, for example, the Maestro, 94 centimeter, 93 cam. Now, if you give this guy the shadow style, it becomes a 90 rated CDM and a 93 centimeter still. Powerhouse looks like a really good option there um, to improve, obviously, his uh, yeah defending and stuff. But for me personally, I would probably go engine. And as you can see, even a 92 right winger would be Tony Cruz, guys. That's mad, isn't it? Look at that, though. Vision becomes 99. Crossing becomes 99. Has 97 balance with that style. I think also Gladiator might not be too bad. But overall... I would recommend going with the engine style just to get, you know, that agility increase, get the pace up a bit. He does need that extra pace boost. So it's a very, very interesting card. This one, I think it's going to be a very popular card when obviously you guys may get access to this card. So without further ado, let's complete the SBC for Tony Cruz. I'm going to get into the player review in terms of gameplay now as well. In Division 1, so hopefully it gives you guys a good example of what kind of, you know, ability this guy's got in game right i can't wait man i've been waiting to review a new player in fifa for about a week since at least what was it maybe a new future star came out but yeah tony cruz guys finally here here is his walkout animation as well really really interesting card now i want to compare his cards to other similar items in game i think we've got to look at some of the center mids that might be 
um, you know, a similar kind of rating, similar passing stat, right? People have also compared Flashback Cruz to Andrea Perlo as well. But there it is, guys. There is his card in all its glory. Really interesting card. 64 aggression. So maybe he's not the kind of guy to dive into tackles. But overall, I think those stats are brilliant. I th really think that is an amazing FIFA card that I can't wait to try. And I'm thrilled to announce that today's big video is sponsored by LG. LG have sent this amazing new TV, which is called the LG 86 Nano 91. This is the craziest TV I've ever seen. The size of this TV, guys, for playing FIFA on, for watching movies, is absolutely brilliant. And the image quality with the nanotechnology is absolutely fantastic. Whether you're into gaming, whether you're into watching films or whichever, this is an absolutely unbelievably ridiculously sized TV and it's fantastic to see. The screen runs at 4K resolution with 120 hertz refresh rate and with LG's revolutionary nano engineering technology, it utilizes an innovative filtering system that refines the projected image and delivers an exceptionally powerful picture quality with purer and more realistic colors than other LED TVs. And as you guys know, I've used LG products for years, whether it be TVs, monitors for gaming, they are absolutely brilliant and at the front of the pack when it comes to these screens. And obviously the size of the screen is phenomenal, 86 inches guys. I'm hopefully gonna watch Liverpool win the Premier League this season with this very insane LG 86 inch nanotechnology TV. It's gonna be incredible. Can't wait to lift the trophy with hopefully my United finishing a lot lower. The LG 8691 TV also does have the powerful Alpha 7 Gen 3 processor, delivers a spectacular visual and audio experience by optimizing and enhancing picture and sound Whatever the source, and that's one of the things I've got to say, guys, the sound from this TV is fantastic. And you don't often get that with TVs, but this LG TV is great for sound as well. And for gaming, it's got free sync, HDMI 2.1, 4K, 120 hertz refresh rate, ALOM, low input lag, and VRR. So it really is a great TV for gaming as well. And you can see the quality, guys. This is taken with the new LG 86 Nano 91 TV with F1 2020 and FIFA 21. And the graphics look phenomenal. And the sound is insane as well. The pure colors on this LG TV do turn your home into a movie theater. The quality is stunning. One big difference to notice when watching sport, I watched Liverpool game a few weeks ago on this TV. And it has to be said, it was impeccable the difference in quality on the TV compared to a previous TV I did have. It's an impeccable viewing experience with smooth action display to live sports. Another big thing, if you're a sports fan, obviously like myself, you can get real-time alerts for your favorite sports news and you can't miss out on latest results. It literally has alerts in the TV. Make sure guys check out the LG 86 Nano 91 incredible TV in the link down below. Massive thank you to LG for sending this to our new house and let's get back to the video. So the team is ready guys for Tony Cruz to go right into center mid. Now, if I remove Rashford there and add the new Tony Cruz card, which he is there. As you guys can see, I wanted to get some center mids that you guys might be intrigued in terms of comparing them. Now, Kevin De Bruyne actually has a really similar card. I'm not gonna lie, I'm proud of myself for this, guys. I really, you know, spent a lot of time getting this research done for Kevin De Bruyne stats compared to Tony Cruz, and I'm actually proud that I've got players that are really similar. Cesc Fabregas has an incredibly similar card. So if you have a look there, guys, at Tony Cruz, right? You can see very similar stats there to De Bruyne. Um, obviously, De Bruyne has the advantage there with the skill moves, but has De Bruyne got the shot power that, you know, Tony Cruz has? It's quite simply no. So I can't wait to see this guy's long shot. Andre Perlo, same passing. I mean, you've got to look at the passing, right? I mean, how similar are these cards? They really are. Um, but the good thing about Cruz is obviously he has better defending than Perlo. Fabregas, really, really similar card. So obviously... Decent shot there in Fabregas, not as good as Cruz. Pace is nearly identical. Same for dribbling, same for passing as well. Um, Milinkovic, Savage, maybe a bit more of an all-rounder, but still, obviously, physical attributes there are great for him. But overall, 
I want to compare how good this card is, man, to the center mids. Michael Balak there, guys, as well, with more of an all-rounder card again, like Savage, but still very, you know, similar stats there to Cruz with in regards to his shot there with Michael Balak and Savage. So, yeah, there's some of the cards that you guys might have in your club that you might think, oh, is he worth doing? So, he's going to go, guys, in this uh, formation with the 4 5 one. We're going to apply the engine style to Tony Cruz, guys. See how well he will perform in game. Hopefully, he's really going to be brilliant. I'm very intrigued to try a long shot with this card. We've got to try it. I'll see how agile he is in game as well. Obviously, with, I guess, yeah, increased agility. So let's add a sub back to this squad. Let's add the Maradona there. Let's go. Right. So the team is ready. However, formation wise in game, I'll, I think I'll try four triple two. And I'll probably try 5-3-2 as well, with Tony Cruz getting forward. The 5-3-2, guys, honestly, I've been using it as like an attacking formation. Legit, it's crazy. It's such an attacking, fun formation right now. I know, there's going to be some guy called, I don't know, Liam and Tim, who hate me for that. But I am, I've been enjoying it, guys. I've been playing well. Right, so we're going to play Clarence Sadov centre-back here. We might need to make some changes. Garinch will come off for CDM, but Tony Cruz, guys, is going to be getting forward in this formation and we're going to test out his long shots they look absolutely insane Zhao Felix there on the right one of my favorite players have ever completed any SBC history but Tony Cruz man is good to go also in the four triple two formation I'm going to play with maybe a bit more depth there on that maybe go for that and I'm going to try Tony Cruz at cam in this formation Zhao Felix and Grinch will 100% need to be switch there maybe with Seidorf but yeah I'm very intrigued guys to try McCam and also center mid right in your opinion which position is Tony Cruz best suited to comment down below and let's get into the Tony Cruz play review for his flashback card right first game he's got in for Ronaldo Gerard yeah of course right first time guys using Tony Cruz he he is actually in on goal oh my god great ball Whoa, what play, Cruz? That's lovely. Let's go. That's really, really nice, man. That's insane. Wow, all from Cruz is passing there, guys, through to uh, the forwards. That was a really, really nice pass. Pressed with them so far. Only thing I've noticed with this card is that although I've got that increased agility, he still feels like a bit of a classic Tony Cruz, right? Might have great, you know... Passing stats. Oh my god, that pass again. Okay, his passing is actually ridiculous. The only thing I'm noticing so far, he doesn't feel fast like at all so far. I'll try him on this corner, see what happens, but. <laughs> How offside was that? <laughs> that dribbling was nice there, man. That's actually really good dribbling. Good goal, to be fair. His positional awareness seems really good. That's a really, really uh, big plus sign there. You want, obviously, Sentiment who's good at everything, right? Like, someone who's decent defending. And already, Cruz has been in the right spot a few times. Watch this, guys. Now, look at that pass. Wow. <laughs> the accuracy there was actually crazy. How fast is he, guys? Okay, okay. Good goal, that. I mean, Cruz kind of did some nice work there. But see what I mean, though? Like, if you watch that back, although he's got on his face of his card nice pace stats, he still feels pretty slow, even with, like, a, you know, a pace upgrade. That's what I've noticed already. Cruz has just been, like, ruined in the box. How is that not a penalty? <laughs> That's a Sunday league tackle. Let's go, Cruz. We played. Whoa, okay, we played. His passing is unreal. 
I think he's offside. He's actually not offside. Oh, good play. Yeah, that is crazy. His passing, guys, is unbelievable. That was a long shot. Still got it. Still. That was nice. That was a bit like a free kick from the left there. Even these like intricate passes, he's, he's making every single one. If you're like a possession player, I think you're really going to like this Tony Cruz card, guys. Because look at this pass, right? I, I, that is so satisfying, honestly. Whoa, what a tackle. Love that. What a ball. Let's go, Cruz. Cruz! Got to bear that, Cruz. Wow. Seidorf centre-back, guys, is actually really nice. I really, really like him centre-back. Right. Go right. Oh, my God. You just saw that, right? <laughs> yeah, his passing is the best I've used in this game. Really, really impressed. Oh, my God. Okay. You know when you've defended amazing all game, then you do that. <laughs> First game, guys, Tony Cruz. Got to be said, his passing is unbelievable. Some of the passes he's making are just world class. So that's the big thing I'm noticing already. Um, and that guy was a good player, man. This is Division 1, so every game is tough. His pace is the only concern so far. You definitely need to give him some kind of pace style, I would say, over anything. I would either give him, obviously, the engine style, um, maybe even the Hawk style to get the physical attributes uh, like increased. Um, I'd also say, what else? Engine is the one, but even Hunter. Sometimes, given a card like Cruz, a Hunter style could make the world a difference. Right, how is it like precision dribbling? Oh my god, it's actually going to crack. Oh wow, okay. Well, although I lost the ball there, his dribbling was actually pretty cracked. Pet a check, wow. Great ball, let's go Cruz. That's what I'm saying, man. Like Those like small passes there make the world a difference. That's where Cruz can let you down, in my opinion, guys. He just isn't... Although he's got the stats, I don't know. His pace is definitely a bit slower than he seems. 100%. No doubt about that. Might be on there. But then he can do a pass like that. That's the thing. And he's actually got there as well. His dribbling is nice. Really impressed with his dribbling, you know. Wow, okay. Well, that was a bang and assist, guys, from Flashback Cruz. Well, if you're on a corner, you might want to give it to Cruz. He can uh, get the pinpoint corner. Guys, I love his passing. Just unreal. Finesh shot there, poor roll. Good block. The thing I would say about his finesh shots are they really feel like they've just got a lot of thrust behind them, right? Like, just... Really powerful shot power, man. That's a mad goal, Isaac. I don't know how he just scored that, honestly. Good ball. Let's go. We'll play Cruz. I really want to have like a mad shot with him. You know, like a uh, a proper just old school FIFA long shot. Guys, like look at that pass. Honestly, such a good pass for the ball. Watch this. <laughs> okay, his long shots are going to be fun. I mean, again, the accuracy of the passing is just blowing my mind here. This is, like, crazy. Again, shot power's on point. I've just got to get the accuracy better with his finesse shots. But yeah, I think he's going to be with that kind of centre mid. The one he's in the right position, you're going to want to pull the trigger with the shot, man. I think it's going to be ridiculous. 
está. Seguro que esta vez sí. Good goal, man. This guy deserved a goal. He's a really, really good player, this guy. Another game, guys, and Cruz is stealing the show in centre mid. What I can say is that if you're the kind of player who doesn't really rely on skill moves a lot and maybe is the kind of player that likes to do a lot of possession style or even without that, like, I'm, I'm more of a fast-paced FIFA player, right? And so far, with his passing ability, it's opening up so... Look at that 9.2 rating. It's opening up so many options because his passes are that clinical. Honestly, this has really actually blown my mind how good this card is in terms of the passing. Now, as an overall box-to-box -box midfielder, because of the pace in game, it just didn't feel that fast. It didn't feel as fast as like someone like Milinkovic Savage. Um, it didn't feel as fast as maybe even Michael Balak. But with his passing, it opens up so many opportunities that you might be surprised you'll get into in terms of his passing. Honestly, he opened up so much of the pitch with his passing being that good. Really impressed with this card overall. I don't think he's a great box-to-box. -box. I don't think he's that kind of player. He's not Curtis Jones. He's not someone maybe like Bobby Firmino. Why am I just saying Liverpool players? He's not maybe someone like De Bruyne, I guess. I think De Bruyne would be a better CDM than Tony Cruz. But as a centre-mid, pure passing midfielder, if you have a road to glory and can maybe grind to get this card, I genuinely think this could be a really interesting card for you to try out. I really believe this card is special with this passing. Really, really impressed, man. Like, yeah. So far, I'd say a 10 out of 10 for passing. As a centre mid, he's a 10, for sure. Even with his pace not being great. However, if he's a CDM, you'd give him like, you know, a box-to-box centre mid. I'd give him maybe a 6 or 7. But as a passing midfielder, this card is generally fantastic. Really, really brilliant. We're gonna, we're gonna score a few bangers with this card on stream this week, guys. It's that kind of card. I know for a fact he is gonna score a mad volley. 98 shot power. And there he is again, Tony Cruz. He is gonna be nuts to use. And this guy's team is cracked. Oh my God. What a nice guy, man. Yes, it was. GG's, bro. Great player, man. Oh, don't get me out of the game. Right, there you go. The weird thing is, guys, I've played FIFA a lot this week in draft and obviously grind on the road to glory, weekend league, all that stuff. It's weird, right? Draft gameplay an hour ago felt really slow. I think we're playing some decent FIFA here because the gameplay's fast. You see what I mean? I'm sorry, that pass is deadly. God, he's great with passing. There you go. Guys, he doesn't miss. He really does not miss. Good goal, man. Really, really good goal. Well played. Puskas is insane. Play Cruz. Let's go. Beat Stevie to that. Okay. Seidorf has been a really, really good centre-back, by the way. That's been a surprise. Again, just solid passing, man. Let's go, Cruz. When you're, like, controlling the CDM or centre-mid, guys, I think, to be honest, his agility feels okay. It's just his sprint speed. I don't know what it is, but even though he's got, like, good pace in-game, it's strange. I feel like his pace just isn't what it is. Good goal, but ah, bad defending, man. Great goal. Two all. God, this guy's good as well, by the way. Really impressed this guy in playing. Wow! Well, that's what Tony Cruz flashback guys can do. That is unbelievable. He actually went for that pass. <laughs> Had to try it. Okay, Tony, I did press shoot. I think that might be in the game. That might not be your fault, Tony. Great goal. This guy's a really great player, man. I'm surprised I'm actually winning this game. Good goal. I am winning this game. I'm telling you, this guy could be like an elite one pro player. He's so good. Great goal. Great goal. Well played. What a game. Four all with flashback Tony Cruz. This card, there he is. It's like he knows he's on this video today, right? This card, I would say, is worth in terms of grinding, right? You've got to think the 82 
to 88 upgrade SPCs out on FIFA ultimate team if you guys do the bronze pack method then go into silver upgrades then get gold players from that put them in the 82 to 88 and if you can get like even one of the panels done definitely get this card that guy's a really good player man what a player well played bro um i really think this card's worth a grind and I'd obviously, always with these player reviews, man, I'm telling you how exactly they perform. I'll tell you if he was trash. I'll tell you if he's great. And overall, it's hard to give him a rating out of 10. I would say I would probably go for a solid 9 out of 10. The reason why it's not a 10 and the reason why it's a 9, I guess, above like maybe an 8, is because his passing is that great. It's definitely the best. It, it's the best card of use of passing in this FIFA by a country mile. This card is insane for passing. And look at that, 97 short pass and 97 long pass. He's got the Vision 94. It really is the best passing card I've used in a long time in FIFA. The reason why I would say he's not quite, you know, nearing the 10 mark is because of the pace, right? I mean, you see there, 75 sprint speed. If he had maybe 82 pace at least, this could be a different story. But I would say it's worth in terms of the grind to get this card unlocked. And you've got to think links to the Bundesliga world, links to La Liga, and maybe even some other, obviously, you know, icon leagues, I guess. But I really think this card's worth it. Um, last time we did a player review was, I think, Flashback Ronaldo. And I did say then he was worth it. I would also say Flashback Tony Cruz is worth it with the engine style. We played three games there, two assists and one goal. But you guys saw how many crazy passes this card was doing. I might even give him, you know, a 9.2. I think his passing was unbelievable. Like, genuinely ridiculous passing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this big new flashback Tony Cruz player review. Leave a like if you want to see more player reviews. Have a special day. And are you guys completing flashback Tony Cruz?